everyone, it's your girl Z. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup routine, so keep watching if you want to learn how to achieve this look. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I take my Mario Badescu spray. Clearly you can see that I like it because it's down to the bottom and I have to order another one, but I spray this all over my face and I let it sit for a little bit um, because it's very hydrating and moisturizing. Then I'll take my beauty blender and just kind of pat that in to my face so that my skin can absorb it. And now I'm gonna move on to foundation. So I love Born This Way foundation. Um, I'm the color Warm Beige. So I'll just take a pump because I kind of like to build up my foundation so it's not too um, full coverage at first. And I'll just kind of distribute it through my face. And bring it down your neck so that you have consistent color. A little bit on my eyelids. Kind of acts as a primer. And depending on how I'm feeling, if one layer isn't enough, if I want more coverage, I just go in again and reapply. So I'll go for my more full coverage look today. So I'm gonna go in again and just apply it in the areas, um, kind of like in my T-zone. All right, we're all blended out. Looking even and fully covered. Okay, so the next step that I like to do is take my um, air spun loose face powder and just apply that to my face very lightly so that it kind of mattifies the foundation a bit. There we go, nice and mattified. The next thing that I'd like to do is kind of highlight my face in the areas where light naturally hits your face. So I'll go under my eyes in a triangle. Oh, and this is LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Light Ivory. I usually like to bring my triangle out um, close to my hairline right here. And I'll just fill it in a little bit. Kind of map out your face down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. Okay. So now what I like to do is take my um, Mario Badescu spray and wet my beauty blender a bit so it's a little bit more moisturized or damp. And then I just blend it out. And just blend until you glow. Okay, so I highlighted my face with my LA Girl Concealer and the next step that I like to do is go in with a little brush and my setting powder and just kind of set that a little. Keep that nice and matte under my eyes. Okay, so that's all done. Now I'm gonna move on to adding a little bit of color to my face or um, contouring. So I'm gonna take my BS Mall Face Round Brush um, and my Tarte Pro Glow Kit 
and I'm going to take the color Sculpt and sculpt my face with it. So I'm going to apply this at the top of my forehead, my cheekbones, and a little bit above it also. And my jawline. Bring it up a little bit as well. And with the smaller brush, I'm going to do my nose contour. So I'm just going to go along the bridge of my nose on the side and kind of go along where my highlight is, just on the outer edge. And I'll take a little bit under my lip just to make my bottom lip look a little bit bigger. All right, and my contour is basically done. So now I'm going to be going into my bronzer and my bronzer is the color Soleil Baked Bronzer by Milani. And I'm going to be taking my BS Mall Face Flat Angled Brush and I'm just going to get a generous amount on this brush and apply it right on my cheekbone. Right on both sides. I'm also going to take this onto my forehead, on my chin, and jawline. And I'm going to take my same fluffy ended brush and do the same to my nose. Okay, we're all bronzered up. My next step would be to put a little bit of blush on. So this one is called Tea Rose by Milani also. And I'm going to take my um, face round brush again. Take a generous amount and focus that around the apple of my cheek and a little bit on my uh, cheekbone. A little bit on the forehead, on my chin, and we're good with the blush. So now I'm going to move on to eyes. I'm going to take this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to take a very small, less than pea size amount to my fingertip. And apply it to both of my lids. All the way up to your brow bone. Make sure you distribute it evenly and I'm just gonna let that sit for a moment in the meantime I'm gonna work on brows one of my favorite parts so I'm gonna use the Anastasia dip brow pomade in medium brown and what I like to do with my brow brush it's kind of just like a flat brush I like to wet it, so I'm going to go in with my Mario Badescu spray. Both sides. Tap it out a little bit and dip into my dip brow. And before I continue on with that, I'm just going to take a brow comb and comb my brows out up and to the side. And from here, we start to line. So you kind of just want to follow the natural shape of your brows. And try to have a light hand because you remember you could always go back and put more in. Kind of just fill it in as you're going. And if you're too dark, just go back with your brow brush and brush it out. 
I like my eyebrows to look very natural. Let me just bring the edge out to meet the corner of your eye, like right here. And onto the next side. Okay, so brows are done. Um, let's keep them gelled with this Brow Tamer by Urban Decay. And just go in the same direction that you brushed them to help them stay in place. All right, so on the daily, I like to go with a kind of warmish brown eye, kind of natural. So I have my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm gonna go in with the shade White Chocolate on my lid. So I'm just gonna take my fluffy brush again and apply white chocolate onto my lid. Same thing on the other eye. I'm also gonna take the same shade and apply it right under my brow bone. Okay, I'm gonna take my MAC 275 angled brush and go in with the color hazelnut in my crease. And I'm gonna kind of come out on the side to make it kind of like a false crease line. I'm gonna bring that all the way in, almost to the inner corner. Try to blend it up a little bit as well because it, it's a really nice transition color. Okay, so after I added in hazelnut with my angled brush, I'm gonna go in with the color semi-sweet and just kind of blend it into the crease. Add a little bit more depth into your eyes. You just you wanna kind of blend that out until it's smooth. And bring it into your inner corner. Same thing on the other eye. Remember to start off light, because you could always add on more. And I kind of apply it in a V. So I start here and then just swoop it into my crease. Okay, so now that I'm done with Semi Sweet, I'm gonna go into Creme Brulee with my fluffy brush and just apply that in between my brow bone and my highlight area under my brow and just swipe that in. Give a nice um, coppery tone or bronze tone. Okay, so I think that's enough for the eyeshadow. Um, now I like to go in with a liner. My favorite liner right now is a Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I'm just gonna line my eye very finely along the lash line. Okay, now that I'm done lining my eyes, I'm gonna go in with the Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. Okay, and if I wanna brighten my eye up, I go in with a peach toned eyeliner. Take my beauty blender so I don't make a mark on my face. And just apply this to my waterline. Okay, so for my highlight, I uh, go in with Cover FX in the color Sunlight. And I just take it, because it's very pigmented, I take a few drops to my fingers and I press them together and add very lightly a highlight. And you kind of just blend it out with your fingers. Take a little bit under my brow bone as well. Okay, girl, apply a little bit down the bridge of my nose and my chin. This product is 
super pigmented so you really just need like a drop or two. I am living for this highlight. Okay. Next, let's move on to lips. So I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D in the shade Bow and Arrow. It's my favorite nude shade for my uh, skin tone. So I kinda just like to line my lips first and then fill it in. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my MUA Super Sparkle Gloss. I've been loving gloss lately, so gotta layer it right on top. And I think I'm gonna go in again with a little bit more blush. Give my cheeks a little bit more color. Last step is set my face again. So I'm gonna take my airspun powder and lightly dab it onto my face. I'm just gonna take my foundation brush and kind of dust that off. And to finish, I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay The Slick Setting Spray. All right, you guys, that's the final glam. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I really uh, love this look for everyday makeup. Um, you could even use it at nighttime and darken the eyeshadow a little bit, maybe change the lip or add some falsies if you're into falsies. But um, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys so much. And if you have any recommendations for any videos you'd like to see in the future, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Love you.